Welcome guys, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines 2020 City. Hope you guys enjoying this series so far. Took me a while to actually start this episode up and running. But as you guys you guys already probably noticed the changes I did. I did this uh, new metro line system just before I started recording the episode today exactly. So as you guys can see I have two metro bridges now instead of one with four um with four trains going across i have two four lane um metro bridge going across two lanes up two lanes down on each so let me just go into the um lines so you guys can see how it works so as you can see each train has a separate so they only intersect here which is barely any time they never really intersect when they are crossing but other than that, they are all on the separate route. And I did some changes here. But this time, I had to remove the stop that was in this position here in order to get the um, connection to work. Also, another change I did before I started the episode, I added this new line that's going around this the earlier district we have here. <coughs> Right now we have three more available metro stops in the metro hub, in the um, transport hub, I said metro hub. We have three more available stops that we can use. We'll probably use those to fill up this area sometime soon. Can always expand this hub down this direction. Hmm. Just had a weird idea. Like, I can move all these across, use this metro station for the stuff we wanted to build down here. Let's get into the actual stuff we wanted to put down. So, we wanted to get access to the ocean transport stuff and some cargo. That's the road. I'm gonna put a uh, road here. It's a highway, but it's two lanes. A two lane highway. Just now temporary. I'm not straight. I could have run that a bit underground, I just realized I load on my mic there for a sec. I could have run that underground to make it look a bit better. So I've got an underground line going through the city. I'll do it. Wow, I did a lot. Okay, I'm gonna just go on this method. So it's it's better that I run it on the ground because you wouldn't really notice the traffic and stuff. So if I run it like this, it's not visible. It doesn't tamper with the um, ability to build. One main roads. I 
I'll fix how that looks just now. Let's remove it. Should I go above or under? It's better to go under. Perfectly kind of a noise. You guys probably are here. Then we change directions of this one. Can make this one here a two lane highway. This one also. Use move it. So just the way these roads interrupt. Just the make this look a bit easier for those guys to Move it, use the lean management of oh, frick man, stop. Alright, now we have to use the um the mathematics and those on that lane, that lane. You I see um, Yeah. So one lane. They have one direction to go so so, so that solves the underground I way towards the district down here. It's just some water. Run some water pipes down here. Luckily there's a sewage system right here so I can just tap it into that. I'm using a lot of money. And power would be simple. Power we just put a wind turbine right there. Mm, we have some trash problems. Oh mine, here comes the trash truck. <laughs> Bit of a glitch there when you use the fine road stuff tends to stick out a bit. So that's Alright, so those guys are operational. What I want to do with that now, now that we have a uh, actual cargo, let's have a little bit of pollution water there from the other previous um, stuff we used to use. 
So what I want to do, I have to start up here. I know we have a demand for all everything right now. But I want to get the um the actual stuff. So for the metros. As you can see the metros are a bit neater on this side. That's how that was before. So what I have an idea, I have to pause the game for this one. The idea is to move everything across. Metros. this line. So it was on this one, this one, this one. Going to there. One line is going to there. Why is that insistent that it has to go? again that one first and then do this one wow what's the big difference <laughs> sheesh now we go into lines we just drag them across starting with this one move that one across the there move that stop across there Stop across it there. Oh. oh, come on, move. Oh, it's not connected, I see. Ah. Use some move it here. So that's technically not connected because it's going straight in. Is that connected now? Yeah, it is. There's some crazy stuff with the line there. It's probably gonna. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't adjust that. What if, um. What if we make this a bit more curve? Another line should be connected there. Let's walk to the lines. Move them to there and then see if we can move it back. Yeah, it's connected. Right. And move here across to there. So now we're using this line. We move everything across. We want to use this line, this arm station go down here. So I need to put the master station. It's gonna be a very short line. Uh. Right on the brink. Now we run a long metro line. That's probably gonna be connected to other stuff. And I start filling up that area. Wow, the amount of stuff we have on the ground in this city. Wow. It's ridiculous. Huh. There. Yeah. Yeah. Should be good enough. We make a line from you all the way up to you. Now all the way back up. This is the one of the shortest I know. You. Yeah. Right. So let's unpause and see how everybody from that area just decides to 
run back out and switch rings. They have to anyway. So I moved everything up. But the metros are still working perfect. Just switch lines. Wow. Really transport madness in this city. It's like ridiculous. Now we have a direct metro going straight down to the cargo hub and stuff. We shouldn't really have an issue for people that's coming in through the port. The cruise ships shouldn't have an issue. Because there's a metro station right across the road and they can cross right there. Huh. I don't believe that this recording session is only 15 minutes after I did so much. Wow. So yeah. This might I might change out later on. That's a temporary fix there. Let's see how we're doing on transport in regards to the numbers. Okay, so the metros are actually take just actually took over from the um trams. The trams are still doing a good bit, but the metros took over. The metros are now transporting two thousand one hundred and four per week. Trams dropped a bit to eight hundred and seventy six. Before the trams was doing a thousand something. So the metro just took over. Damn. Wow. So we still have these two metro lines to put in somewhere. Auto save. These two metro lines to put in somewhere. The good thing about the setup is that I can expand it. I can just add the shoot going with the same style going down down that direction. I don't know how I'm, how I'm gonna connect the metro um, hub, the metro um, depot to the rest of the system if I expand. We'll see. Let's see, did we unlock anything and no we still don't have planes, so my god planes are so far off. Tour buses, maybe. In put any hot air balloons just to get a bit of popularity. All right. Put that right where everyone is, so they can use that. And that's it for now. All right, so that's not nice. All right, so now that we have that settled, we just have to. This is how much people is actually using? Not not much right now. I just placed it now. Why is that road so wobbly? Alright, let's see down here we have... Is this actually working? Oh come on. Oh, I forgot I'm still in move it. I should do not transport much people, but once we start expanding, as we have a demand. Let's see if I can fill up this area somehow. See if we can fill up that area. Now, 
why is it? Ten units. Probably put offices or something on that back in the highway. Let's see, we can run this line straight down. There. You know what, I can actually use that area for an amusement park. Ah, let's just expand. I was thinking of using it for an amusement park, but it's better that I just expand the um <coughs> the map a bit because we have some demand that we need to expand and this looks like a good area for a little another park This looks like a nice area to have like a little park there. Let's see how the zone in goes so far. Let's zone in. Back the highway with offices. Some residential, high density residential in these areas. And some high density commercial. Fill up the rest of spaces. Some more residential. This guy is uh, building up already. Alright, let's see about water. Pause a bit. How are we gonna do this? Put it there. I'm not up to there. Auto save. Okay. And that should deal with the water. The power should fix itself. Let's add some elementary schools and stuff to keep up with the demand. What's it supposed to add? We should have enough time to add a campus area at least this episode. Library there. See healthcare. 
There's a hospital there, but we can put a... Put there. A street in our... Okay. Fire station. Police station. There. So we're doing on power. Yeah, they're connected. Well, it's a bit more expansion. We managed to fill up this area. They're kind of a crazy zone in, but it's filling up nicely. That in turn should raise the income, and hopefully, we get a bit more of these ships coming in. I haven't seen one cruise ship. Well, well <laughs> just as I said, that one is coming in. There you go, there's our first cruise ship coming in to the city. They're most likely not going to use the highway and going to use the metros. Because there's a straight metro system across to the metro hub. Let's see. Damn, that's a lot of people. Some is using the highways, some, most of them are going to the metro. Yeah, just, it's working just as I expected it to. And the tourists are leaving. So, it's good to see that we have that working. Let's see if we can at least lying out where we want to put the campus. Just thinking of having the campus area across here. Let's see. This industry. <laughs> oh my god, so much of damn districts. This industry and campus district. Thinking of having this hold like the startup area here. This whole area here, back in the highway, to be a university campus. Not sure what the name is going to be. Because yeah, we are really lacking on universities right now, so we can do with one of those. Let's go with the basic university. Let's get some dim dormitories right back in up the main building. Some parts in. Why can't that connect? It's weird. Oh, because the terrain is doing some wacky, crazy stuff. Interesting. Interesting. What the frick? Why is it doing that? It's really crazy. It's really, really crazy. Is it because of the... Is it because of the um... Ah, this part is giving me some trouble here. I have to just use the um... Correction. Alright, I guess we can connect to that side. I 
really big one and I might go and connect. I'll take out your road. Okay, lines and stuff when I'm doing parts. Alright, let's get some other stuff other than dormitories and put just one two more dormitories there. What's that? That's the study hall. Scooch that thing right there. Wrong skipping. There. Oh, that right there. Let's run some water and power across the university campus. Right, we have a university, well at least a startup of a university. I got to squeeze that into this episode. Really wanted to add that. I'm pressing the bloody uh, wrong camera control buttons. Right, next thing we have to do next episode is see if we can add in a metro. Well, we have uh, two, two more free metro lines. So these two here, I think. Yeah, these two are free. Nope, I think it's this one and this one. Yeah. These two free metro lines. You can use those to get across to here and want to fill up the abandoned space here. We may, in fact, have to expand this either this way somehow. Or we can just add trams for the rest of the area. <coughs> Not sure about that yet. Let's see, how much is the boats? I have to check the um, list here. Transport. How well is the boats? Oh my god, the boats just only transported nine. Well, it's more doing tourist. The metros are really, really good right now. Oh, we have a debt wave. We have a debt wave. Let's see if we can deal with this while well wrap of the episode. We have enough crematoriums, but we have to have a bit more. And the huge death wave we're having. That's the annoying thing when your city starts to grow very fast, it tends to have that huge death waves every now and then. But once you keep some zoning up the um that wave seems to not really affect your population because you're constantly growing. So next episode we'll be adding the park into this area and doing some more work on the campus area here. If you guys have any name suggestions for the campus area, let me know down in the comments below. Hope you guys have a lovely day. Let me just, before I wrap up the episode, I was just going to wrap up there and then this thing is bugging, really bugging me. Like, uh, come on. This one is not wider. Right, that's the best as we can get it and the game just auto save there. Right, as you can see, we have some traffic. Mainly to... from this side of the city. Excuse me. Hello.
That road is a mean road. Okay, next episode we'll be in some traffic management. Probably add in another part right here to deal with the people crossing across here. And campaign with the um, trams. So we'll probably add a crossing area here. Uh, not sure if I'm adding one around the roundabouts. Right. Anyway guys, time to wrap up the episode. Thank you guys for tuning into this episode of City Skylines 2020 City. Thank you for all the support so far on the channel. And with this series, we are truly having a death wave right now. See you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed this series and the new buildings and stuff we did this episode. Um, if you guys are wondering what mod I use for the metros, it's Metro Overhaul. Wondering how I got those um, stuff, it's Metro the Metro Overhaul mod. So you guys can check that out. If you want, I'll put a link down in the description or down in the comments if any of you guys just wants to find out what mod I use. Anyway guys, thank you for tuning in. See you guys in the next one. Ashbos is out. Time to go edit. <laughs> well, I'm out.